All right. Uh, today we have on the show Natasha uh, Lamal. Uh, welcome. Hi. Thank you. Yeah. So Natasha is a wedding photographer uh, based in D.C., but does weddings all over. Uh, I'm correct. Uh, but Nat Natasha, tell us a little bit, a little bit about um, just yourself and and you as a wedding photographer. Yeah. So I'm French. I grew up in France. Um, but I met my American husband in Prague in Czech Republic. So we have a very romantic story usually. People are like, oh, wow. Uh, but I followed him back <laughs> to the US uh, and he found a job in DC. So I followed him in DC. Um, and you know, my background is, uh, is in journalism. I was a, a local journalist in a newspaper in France. And when I arrived in DC, I didn't have a job and I kind of write in English. Uh, my competence steps at French. Um, and, but I always had my camera with me everywhere I went. And I started to uh, see that wedding photography can be cool. Uh, it doesn't have to be posed and boring. And I contacted a bunch of photographers that I thought were more like me, meaning uh, with photojournalism background. And yeah, that's when I realized, oh, wait, photojournalists are wedding photographers too. Uh, and that was really exciting for me. Gotcha. Awesome. So how long had you done photography before you before you started into weddings? Oh my God, like in high school, I bought a two pixel camera and I was uh, <laughs> photographing my friends. Um, because I always wanted to be a journalist, I thought, well, I should know how to use a camera because it was the age where if you wanted to be a journalist, you had to know to do everything. And, you know, as a high schooler who already knew what you wanted to do, I was like, well, I'm going to, you know, start working on my skills. And, you know, it turns out I probably like to take photos more than I like to write, though I'm still uh, freelancing. So I still write a lot. But um, that's how I started. Um, I did a diploma in France um, towards uh, photos. So it's like kind of a baccalaureate in photography. And then I just continued to include my photo uh, into my journalism work uh, and, and released, and, you know, maybe actually for my local newspaper, I shot my first wedding because it was this couple got married in my village and I went and I, you know, took pictures for the newspaper and that was the mm -hmm. first wedding I ever shot. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. I, th I, for myself also, I, I, um, so I'm a, uh, I do a lot of wedding videography um, here in DC and I started, I don't do as much photography now, um, but I started off as, as doing photography. Um, and yeah, it's crazy how, you know, a lot of, a lot of us as wedding professionals started with something else and then moved to weddings. Um, for you, that transition to weddings, what, what was something that like, that you enjoy most about weddings or something that drew you to, to do weddings? I think what excited me about weddings is, well, first of all, I was kind of looking for a job, right? And, yeah. you know, you cannot really survive in journalism, except if you're hired by a newspaper. And I was doing all this awesome, you know, reporting on people, but didn't pay much. And I was like, well, how can I make money doing what I love? And that's when I started to think about weddings. And that's when I started to look through, okay, what's like wedding photography in you know, it was 2015 or 16. And that's when I was like, oh, okay, I can do cool photographs for people and people would pay me for that. So I got really excited. I started to, you know, contact photographers and second shoot. And I just, that was a new industry for me. It was a new world. Uh, it was people that valued my photo, that valued me as an uh, artist. And I think compared to the journalism world where you have to beg when you're treated very poorly, um, I did like that um, people saw some worth in me and were nice to me. And also right. weddings are just such a, it's, you know, the joy starting in the morning till the evening, everyone's so happy. I mean, who would not want to right. work in like, framework of everyone is happy and everyone loves you and then you make great photos and people are like oh my god thank you so much I'm like this is yeah. the perfect job make people happy yeah yeah for sure I mean a lot of people you know I've, I've heard from other you know photographers and people 
they say, oh, weddings are stressful. I don't want any part of weddings. <laughs> and it's definitely a lot going on, but I love it. You know, it's just, it's just, like you said, it's the happiest day of someone's life and everyone's happy and you get to, you get to document it. Um, but I guess for you, what is your, uh, how do you approach a wedding or what is, how would you say you uh, kind of try to see the day, uh, you know, uh, unfolding and how do you approach that uh, to, to take images of that? So I think weddings are still stressful for me, of course, uh, but not because I'm scared of um, missing a moment because the way I approach photography is every wedding is unique. So I don't promise anything to my clients. What I promise them is to capture great moments and create for them really unique images. Uh, and that's stressful because, you know, I really cross my finger. I'm like, I need that epic shot, you know, that is one or two pictures that they're going to fall in love with. Uh, and that's the stressful part. But the way I approach it is very documentary. Um, you know, I barely post people. Even when we do portrait session, I usually, I usually make them like do something um, more in like action shots. Uh, I, you know, I think posing is, I don't know how to pose people. I kind of do a vote cover or whatever it's and it's not my style and usually that's not what my clients are coming um you know when they come and inquire with me the first thing they say is we hate posing that's why we inquire with you and i'm like <laughs> perfect because i hate posing too so <laughs> yeah it's awesome how would you say so you, you just said you started in like what 2015 2016 time frame how has how would you say your style and your approach has changed since then up to this point um, I think, yeah, so compared to like, I feel like other photographers that uh, started photography and weddings at the same time, I've been photographing for 10 years. And so what I started to do when I entered the wedding industry is to bring the style I had with me into the wedding world, which is documentary as much as possible. But of course, being in the wedding industry in America, and being surrounded by all these posing shots and the must have. And, you know, so I think my style started to evolve and be like, okay, I guess, yeah, family formals are important. <laughs> so I should work on them. Um, you know, portrait sessions are still important. So I need to work on them. And so I think what I did is, you know, I kept the documentary part, I, I worked on it, you know, better moments, better composition, uh, search for the light. But I also worked on my portrait skills and I'm still working on them. Uh, I don't think I am where I want to be. But definitely uh, using the flashes. I don't I didn't use flashes in photojournalism. That was not you know, you don't, you don't need that. You can crack the eye, so it doesn't matter. Right. Uh, <laughs> for it's a bit different. And I yeah. think for me, yeah, starting to use flashes and starting to know how to use it to my advantage to be creative, mm -hmm. that definitely unlocks something. And uh, in the quality of my images. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, well, I think I think we're about at our time. Um, so, just I guess one one final question to wrap up that I like to ask. Um, uh, how about for for maybe for a couple for a bride or a groom who is currently planning a wedding, um, and is maybe looking at maybe they also don't like posing. Maybe they're looking at you know kind of a more photo photojournalistic style, um, but they're looking to to pick, to, to choose a photographer. Um, and even just throughout the entire wedding planning process, any advice for, for someone in that position? Uh, sorry, your question, advice to clients, you mean? Yeah, advice for a bride or a groom who is currently planning a wedding. Uh, well, I think knowing what styles are out there is the most important because I feel like a lot of people come to me and they're like, oh my God, I didn't know it was possible. And that's kind of scary because I'm thinking, well, I guess a lot of people end up with the photographer they might not like that much because they didn't know that this style existed and this, this style existed. So for me, the first thing, you know, as a couple looking for photographers, is make sure you know what kind of style is out there because there is probably someone that is exactly your vibe and what you're looking for, you know, someone that's maybe very colorful or someone that's very posed like, you know, very magazine cover, or someone that's very, you know, green and airy, you know, which is the main style, but I think you kind of blur 
all the other styles out. I mean, I think there is right. as many styles as there is wedding photographers. There is a lot of them, with a lot of different yeah. personalities. But, you know, there is few main styles that I think are leading the industry. And I think that's very important to know which one you're more drawn to. Gotcha. All right, Natasha Lamal, everyone. Um, NatashaLamal.com, I believe. Um, her website is beautiful. I will link it below. Please do check that out. It's a beautiful website. Uh, thank Natasha, you. thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah, no, thank you so much. Okay, take care. Yeah, bye-bye.